Hello, PC Game Inspector here. Tonight we should be doing things a little differently, as you will prepare to join me in my voyage into Twin Sector. Well, without any further needless delays, let's get things started, shall we? The only normal mode appears to be available. Oh! That is a large face. Here we go then. Any minute now. I could have sworn her eyes were following me. Here we go. I say that bed did not look very comfortable. They do enjoy their large facial shots, don't they? She appears to be frozen. Oh dear. I dare say something is afoot. Resident 61-8. Crash course completed. Valid for engineer duty. Okay, Mr. Norwood, you are scheduled for cryosleep. Bay 61, Chamber 8. Good luck to you, sir. Hmm. Next resident, please, Mr. Boyd. All right, Martin. There is something a little sinister about this lady. Ow! I'm sorry. It won't sting for too long. Now, let's do the eye scan. This one won't hurt, I promise. Hey, I'm sorry, but aren't you that girl, Ashley something? Ashley Sims. Yeah, I am. Sir, it's that girl who saved all those people mm, This is dragging on a little, isn't it? What was the name of that place? Redwood Rock. Yeah, that's it. The hero of Redwood Rock. Yes, I know that, Boyd. I know it very well. Then you should also know that I'm not a hero. Uh, oh, well, I suppose disagree. we can all go home just then, can we? my job, General. Yes, Ashley, you did. So did everyone else who got involved in that cave rescue. But, if I remember correctly, you were the only one who volunteered for what they this later called a, a long sentence. Mission. And precisely because of that, 15 families well, technically, are alive I suppose and well it's more today. Of a paragraph, I spoke to some mind. of them personally. They all talk of you as if you are some kind of saint. And it's not just them. All across the globe, people recognized what you did. He does it enjoy the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? He started to believe again. To believe that we can count on each other. To believe that every life matters. And this belief, Ashley, this is exactly what all those people are gonna need when they wake up one day. This is what will give our race the chance for a future. If there is any future at all. So, as of now, you are scheduled for cryosleep. Bay 61, Chamber 9. Good luck, and God bless. Well, this sounds like an exciting game, doesn't it? Cryo sleep. They did not even assign her a bed. <sighs> Budget cuts and all that, I suppose. The Model 229 is a standard issue telekinetic glove by Robinson Corporation. I wonder if perhaps we will get to play now. 
Over here. Yep. Hello again, number nine. Oh, who are you? My name is Oscar. I am a high priority security process. What was I doing back on the floor, Oscar? You just had another blackout. You have been having them since I woke you up. Woke me up? Yes, oh dear. an hour ago. Do you remember that? Ugh, my head. Feels as if it's gonna burst. I remember survivors. Thousands of them. Sleeping inside the cryo chambers. Yes, continue. Please no don't. Writing. I I think that the surface has gone to hell. Or something. But the entire the surface? One day. Now, I am sorry. I do not have any such information. What do you mean? I already explained that an hour ago. But I can't remember any of that. Then please try to focus. You are here because we had an emergency. The main generator has stopped for no apparent reason. Generator. Well, that's an explanation yes, if ever I've heard responding one. responding and we are losing power rapidly. At the current rate, the life support system will fail within the next 10 hours. Oh, no. 10 hours. When that happens, all those people inside the cryo chambers will die. Then what are you waiting for? We're in it for the what long haul, I'm afraid. I cannot. What? I tried that already, but for some reason, you remain the only person that I was able to wake up. How can this be? Well, isn't that I, I just mean, dandy? dandy. But the bottom line is, you must go down there and restart that generator before it gets to be too late. Oh my... Oh... Is this for real? Yep, it's only a game. Wake up. Wake up! Are you alright, number nine? I am not going to lose you again now, am I? I'm fine, Oscar. I just don't know what to think right now, okay? It is the cryo sickness. If you want to rest, I can... I said I'm fine. Now, let's get going. Those people don't have all day. Indeed. Take the corridor to your right. According to what I have gathered so far, the generator is on the lower decks. And this is where you need to go. Alright then. Finally allowed to move. Now All right, Nine. Yep, Before I spoke too soon. Out, we were heading toward the nearest freight elevator. Do be quiet, Bix. This way, I suppose. Maybe not. Seems I'm already moving at full speed. Somebody perhaps use this corridor as a bowling alley. Hmm. Here goes nothing. Well, that was disappointing. Gloves will come in handy, assuming the game features more items than simply these useless barrels. Off we go. Now this is the blast door. Use the nearby button to open it. There we go. Nothing too complicated so far. I am afraid that this door will require a key card. Just look around you nine. A key card must be nearby. Oh, I wonder where it could be. Hmm. This will surely take us ten hours to find. Oh, 
There it is. Nine, the gap ahead of you is way too big. It is time to start using those gloves for real. What? Well, since this gap ahead of me is way too big, I suppose it's time to start using these gloves. For real. Whatever he meant by that. Oh, I see. No, I don't. Well done. You have just performed an energy jump. This way you can all right. Now that you have learned about the energy jumps, climb up that shaft to proceed. I did not finish learning about the energy jump, you silly man. Here, I suppose. Now jumping down from this height will kill you. Use oh. your gloves to ease the fall. I'd better not fall from this height. It will kill me, apparently. There we go. That was a good job, Nine. Now proceed down that corridor. I was about to proceed down that corridor until you interrupted me, you silly man. Hey, Oscar. Somebody broke this button. Are you sure that I'm the only person around here? Yes, do not worry. A sudden electric charge must have fried that button. But there should be a backup button directly above you. Just hit it with something and the door will open. Yes, sudden electrical charges are nothing to worry about. That was simple yet again. All right, this is the freight elevator. Get inside. Hmm, it is not responding anymore. We cannot continue. Get out and check the fuse boxes. I think this is what is causing the problems. This fellow is rather blunt. Hmm. I do believe I shall leave it there for now. I shall see you next time as we continue this interesting game. Toodles!